Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some updates on recent purchases over the past, I don't even know how many months I've been, I've been getting some different things. So I'm going to update you guys and let you know, do I still, am I still using it? Do I still like it? You know, how I still feel about it. I'm going to share that in this video. My opinion might be different than yours and it's okay. I always had to put that disclaimer in because some people lose it. If you, you know, oh my God, <sighs> whatever. Okay, so this is from Rare Beauty. So I tested this out, this foundation. And I do really like it. I don't really use it much though. Do you know why I don't use it much? It's this. I really hate that. I don't like the doe foot applicator. I do like, I don't, what is that? Why does it look? I don't know. I thought I saw like red through it. I don't know what I was seeing, but I don't like, I don't like this doe foot applicator. That's really was a poor choice on there in my opinion, but it's a really lovely foundation. I'm going to have to make myself use this more. I, I do. I don't want it to just sit here, but that's what I don't like about it. I don't, but the packaging looks really nice. It's just the doe foot is a no. And since we're talking about that, let's talk about the blush. It's the same thing with this. I think the blush is really pretty. It stays on me, but I hate this stupid, like, I didn't know that when I went to go see it, because uh, I actually bought this at Sephora. I didn't take it off. I don't touch stuff as much anymore since the pandemic, and it was at a time when I don't know if they wanted me to touch it, so I didn't. Um, so I wouldn't get it because of that, so that's discouraging. But I still would like to try some other things from their brand, but that's something that's... Uh, a negative for me that I have to kind of force myself to use something so right now if I were to, if you were to ask me would you repurchase these right now I would tell you no I wouldn't based on the packaging alone because I just don't like the applicator I know it's silly but that's how I feel okay the Gucci foundation I love this but this one's more for me in the in the winter time because this one will kick up a little bit of a shine on me which I'm okay with it never looks greasy or gross I feel like I don't have to use a lot and I get good coverage with it, but this is just a little too much for my oily skin in the summertime. Dry skin in the summertime, you're probably fine with it, but for me, no. So right now, would I repurchase this? No, I wouldn't. I really like it, but I don't, I'm not loving it. I'm not picking it up, but it is summertime, so maybe that's not being fair. Um, but it's not one that I pick up a lot. So I'm going to say no. I still recommend it, but I'm just being honest with you. I don't think that I would repurchase it. Well, I guess we'll see when I get to the end because there is one, this one, I'm gonna tell you, this isn't recent, okay? But I purchased this one last summer. This is from Sisley. This was the most I've ever spent on a foundation and I just thought I was nuts for spending that, okay? But what I love about it, I'm not wearing it today, but what I love about it is if I'm outside in the humidity, this one really works well for me because it's oil free and it just holds up really, really well for me. It's not full coverage, but it covers enough for me. It makes my skin look really, really nice. And I actually just repurchased another one. Again, two years ago I bought this and I'm just purchasing, purchased another one. Um, it, I think it's down to there, you can kind of see. So I'm trying to squeeze all of it out, but I do have another one to go if I can't pump this out. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I wouldn't, but you know, when I get to the end, I will for sure tell you, but right now I'm saying no. I still recommend it, but I don't use it a lot. This one I, I use quite a bit. Um, I go between this one, which isn't new, my Anastasia, and this one. I'm wearing my Anastasia today. I'm not wearing this one, but I do wear this one a lot. And this is the Givenchy, uh, the Prism Libre. I love this. I love it. It reminds me so much of this one, but I feel like, I don't know. They're really, really close. They're really, really close. That's all I'm going to say. They're really close. So if this is out of your budget, then definitely get this. You can get a coupon for it at Ulta when they have it on sale. But I do really, really like this one a lot. I just love the finish on it. I just, I really love this one. I don't think I like it as much, but I really love it. This one I hardly ever use. I don't. Um, it, you don't get much of a coverage with it. It gives you a nice glow. I it looks nice on me. I do like it, but I feel like this would be better for dry skin. So I just don't pull it out as much, 
but it's the Glossier uh, Perfecting Skin Tint. I think this is really nice. If you have dry skin, I think you'll love this. But you're not going to get much coverage with it, even with this, because that looks like, woo, that looks like it's going to be dark, right? So I'll put it on the back of my hands where my veins are, okay? So you can see it. It's really watery, but see how you can still see my veins? So you're not going to get much coverage with it. This is very sheer. It's very sheer. One complaint I have about stuff like this, um, this or like a tinted, like a CC cream or a tinted moisturizer, I feel like so many times the tint is so minimal that I just don't get the point of it. I just feel like in that case, you should just wear a moisturizer and just take a concealer and spot conceal. I just feel like I want to see a little bit of a, if I'm going to use something that's tinted, then, then give me a little bit more of a tint. So I like this. I would recommend it, but I think somebody with dry skin probably would love it even more if you want something that's really not going to look like you, like you just have a, like a nice glow to your skin, but you're not really going to have any coverage. I'm going to say any coverage because, I mean, even on my light skin, if there's no coverage, you know what I'm saying? Like, just so you know. So would I buy this again? No, I wouldn't. I'm just being honest with you, okay? I like it, recommend it. I don't know that I would buy it again because I really don't reach for it. Let's go through some other things. Okay, so let's go through this. This is from Gucci. This is their powder. I I just love the packaging. I love it. I, I don't even know that I would throw this out once I get to the bottom of it because I love it so much. Like I would just put it out somewhere because I think it's really pretty. So would I purchase this again because of the product? I, the product got a little bit weird, as you can see, because I did dip my sponge in there. So you got to be careful with a damp, damp sponge. Now, I can do that with my Charlotte Tilbury, but this one, I guess I shouldn't have done that, too. But I have to use a powder puff with this one, or it won't pick up on my brush. So that's a negative for me. It gives a beautiful finish, but I don't pick it up often because of that. So for that, I wouldn't purchase it again. Once I'm done, I probably won't repurchase this. But I'm glad I have it because I like the packaging just looks like it's vintage and it's something that I would keep. So I really like that. I still recommend it, but just know. I know I'm not the only one because I know there were some, some of you that said the same thing, that you had to use a powder puff and some of you guys said you used a brush. I have nice brushes and it just doesn't pick up. I don't know. The Gucci bronzer, again, their packaging is just delightful. It really is. Um, I love it. There are some luxury brands that have such crappy, cheap packaging, and you're paying for that. You're paying for some of this, but at least you're getting something that's really nice, okay? So I love the packaging. Again, beautiful. And I do really, really like this bronzer. Is it my favorite bronzer right now? No, it's not. I actually found one that I like even better, and I'm going to show that next. This is probably one of my favorite new bronzers. I love this. I really love this one, okay? This one is from Guerlain. And I'm trying to think... Oh, no, I do have this, this is from Guerlain, too. Okay. Is it? No, that's Shivani. I think this might be the only Guerlain... I think this might be the only Guerlain product I own, I think. But I love the packaging on it. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. I love it. And I love how it's like this, so it's easy to open. Sometimes these are kind of hard to open. I love that. It's got a nice little mirror in it. And this is the bronzer. I'm wearing it today, and I love it because it's not, it's a nice subtle bronzer, but you can see it, if that makes sense. When I was testing out those bronzers from Hourglass, I'm like, I don't see it. Sorry, I don't see it. I don't get the hype with that. This is subtle, but you can see it. So what I mean by subtle is it's really soft and pretty. It's not, um, like this one I feel like is a little bit bolder. And I have to make sure that I blend this out and be careful because it, it can get dark on you, okay? But this one is just so pretty. This one is in the shade, and I'll put all the details below with everything. This one is in the uh, color three. I love it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I highly recommend it. It is, it is scented. But once I put it on, I don't smell it. If I put my nose in there, I smell it, but it's not like I put it on and I smell it. I don't know why they, they do that, but bougie, you know, luxury makeup brands, they do the that, but definitely love this one. And right now, I would say I would repurchase it. I have purchased over the last year, 
I have purchased, I think maybe last year I did, I purchased the Tom Ford that everybody raves about. I purchased the Marc Jacobs, again, that everybody raves about. I think they're okay. I'm not saying they're bad, but I don't think they're amazing. I really like this out of like, I think this one is nicer than those. I just think the finish is really pretty. I really, really like this one. Definitely would recommend. Something else that I tested out, and I'm going to be honest, and I've, I, I feel like I say this every time I say, share this. I was a little nervous about it because I thought, I don't know if I'm going to like it. It might be a little too shimmery. And now that I have it, I might order the one in the peachier tones too because I really love it. The packaging, in my opinion, is very cheap for a luxury brand. It's very cheap, okay? But the product itself, I love, okay? And it's from Dior. See, the packaging is just cheap. And this is the Backstage Glow Palette in... And I'll put it below because I don't have my glasses on, okay? But... Oh my God, I love this. When I wear this, it my whole face lights up. So I will use, these, this is what I usually use. I usually use this bronzer. I usually don't, I haven't used this yet. I probably should. Um, but I will use this as a bronzer. And then I will use this as a blush. And then I will use this as the highlighter. Love it. It is so pretty and so subtle. It is, when I wear it, it just makes my whole face just light up. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Definitely would recommend this. 10 out of 10. Love it. This is a new powder that I got. This is from Givenchy. I've shared this, I don't know, I feel like I've maybe shared this a lot. This is probably one of my favorite powders. I feel like it keeps my oil at bay. I'm not going to tell you that I have a shine-free face all day because I don't. I have oily skin, okay? Um, and especially here in, in Florida, I'm going to get oily skin depending on the foundation that I use and I don't mind having a shine either okay so I don't want to have a totally matte face so don't expect to have a totally matte face with this but I will tell you I feel like out of all the powders I feel like this one works the best at keeping my oil down for me that's what I'm going to tell you all right and this is from Givenchy I love the packaging on it open it up and there's your powder right there so really love it and what I would recommend to to you is if you do not want your powder to change color then always try to get a light or translucent color that's what I that's what I go for I don't like to get anything that's tinted now this one is slightly tinted and it is a setting powder but I like to use this as a finishing because the finish on it is really pretty I don't think it helps to set my makeup very well and it's from Tatcha and it's her silk powder I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that there we go the silk powder it looks like this it's so pretty it has a, the lightest amount of shimmer in it and don't freak out because I heard that too and I was like, I don't want to put shimmer on my face. Just like this, that other, the Dior, I was like, I don't want to put that on my face. I don't want to look like a disco ball. You know what I mean? It's not like that. It's not. It's so subtle. Somebody would have to be in your face to see that, and nobody should be in your face. Okay? So what I like to do with this, like I said, I don't use it as a setting powder. What I will do is I will put a little bit, like in this area here, like in my cheek area just to kind of soften it a little bit so I use it as a finishing powder because that's what a finishing powder is a finishing powder is going to give you like that airbrush look and that's what I feel like this does so I just like to use this as more of like a finishing than a setting powder love it yes I recommend it and I probably will repurchase it but at this point I'm saying I probably will blush is so pretty that I think I'm going to get it in peach so this is from Dior. So it, the packaging is so funny on it because I thought that was like, it was like clear like this. You know, like you see the product there, you open it up and that's the product. That's actually a facade, okay? Because on the other side, you get this cute little mirror and this is the color. I don't have a color like this in my stash collection, whatever you want to see. When you look at it on camera, it looks purpley and in, in person, it almost looks fluorescent pink. And when you swipe it, it looks like, uh, where's the, where is it? I don't see it. But this stuff is weird and magical. Because when you put it on your face, it kind of will, it will, uh, it will adapt to your skin is what it does. 
it is beautiful I definitely recommend this I think it's really really pretty definitely recommend it I guess Kylie Jenner it's her blush I don't really get into the Kardashians I don't really care but somebody had shared it on TikTok I was curious and I checked it out before I knew it was you know Kardashians if I knew that I probably wouldn't try it <laughs> but anyway so I did and I really do like it um, this is another one. This is actually the one that I'm wearing today, and I love it. This is from Sean Takai. So like I said, I, I would repurchase this right now. I would, and I'm, I'd like to try the peach. So this is a lot, if you like. So this is from Sean Takai. This is the Flower Power. I love the packaging on this, and I'm wearing the blush today. I think it's really, really pretty. It's subtle. It's not in your face. It's beautiful. I definitely would recommend this. Love it, and I love how little it is. I hate when you get these big pans of blush because like it's going to take forever to get through that. I'd rather like get through something like this quicker, I feel like. You know, powders I don't want to go through fast, but blushes take a long time. This one is perfect. I love it. I think it's really, really pretty. Love it. The Dior, this is the Dior Backstage Body and, Fa uh, Body and Face Glow, okay? I want to try their foundation next. This stuff is fabulous. I'm not wearing it today, but I will mix this in with my foundation and my skin just looks, it just looks so glowy and beautiful and just, I absolutely recommend it. I think it's gorgeous. I really do. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, the Laura Mercier. I'm not wearing, this isn't the one I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing one of her new ones that I don't have in front of me. Um, but this is her highlighter. I love it. I love it. I, I can't really, I don't understand why more people don't hype this up. This this is just so beautiful. Probably one of my favorite products of hers. I love it. Definitely would recommend it. And I purchased that myself. Not that it matters because you guys know, even if a company sends me stuff, I'm always up front with you guys and I tell you if I like it or don't, you know, like it. I'm not going to just say I like something just to be on somebody's PR. Okay. So these are the Dior Five Palettes eyeshadows okay I have three of them so far I love this I love these I love how small they are I'm really going more towards the smaller palettes I have larger ones I will enjoy what I have but I'm not going to purchase any other large palettes unless it blows my mind I just really like these these are nice to travel with they're easy to do eye looks really quick easy eye looks I don't have to look at a pan and just try to figure out like what I, what do I want to do these make it so easy for you, okay? And the quality of the product is superb. The quality is beautiful. You have nice color payout, blendable, pigmented. Love these. Packaging, beautiful. Love it. Absolutely 100% would recommend it. And I, like, I bought three. Three already. And I want to buy another one. I just love them. But there's some colors that I'm like, they're pretty, but they're just not me. I'm not, I'm not going to wear it. I got to... Stick with the neutrals because that's what I'm comfortable with and that's what I like to wear. So I love those. I think that's everything. If there's anything that I didn't mention that I shared a while ago and you're like, I wonder if she still likes that, let me know in comments and I will let you know if I still like it, would I still recommend it, whatever. And let me know if you like to see videos like this, if you want to see me do share like updates with you guys on products that I've tested out, let me know um, in the comments below too. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. All right, let's get into it. Okay. I'm being silly today. My opinion might be... Why do I always get spammer calls when I'm trying to film?